Hey, what's up guys? My name is Shunak and how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to more Destiny Dark Below DLC glitches. And today guys, I'm going to show you how to pass the lamp maze solo. And it's by, this is by doing the glitch. This is jumping from the second lamp all the way to the 11th lamp of the map. It's really, really simple guys. It just takes a little, a couple tries until you get this right onto the... It's a, it has to be in an exact spot on the rock in order to fly off to the other side of the map. And it's really, it took me around five tries to do this. I was really calm. Just take your patience and everything like that. So when you get to the second, um, you have to go past the first lamp, go to the second lamp and get on top of this rock. And literally this is the part where everything works. Like right there for me, I had to stand literally around the corner, in the exact corner, literally a sec. You stand the same spot where I'm at and you'll be able to do this perfectly. And just wait until the lamp blows up. It's like you're doing a little Superman and right when the um, thing blows up, you're actually going to get skyrocket all the way past the 11th lamp. So what you're going to do guys, in this part is really, really simple. Uh, you do have to do this part exactly what I'm showing you how to do it. So you're going to do just follow this, go back to the border of the map and just walk in this line. Just walk all the way to the right side. Just keep going all the way down until you get to the last um corner right when you get to the last corner it's going to be one lamp in there that's where the knight is going to be a spawn waiting for you overall so what you're going to do is don't shoot him don't do anything just stand high um crouch and prone a little bit stay high behind one of the rocks and while the light is giving you um taking your darkness away um so right when you get to that point guys um the reason is if you do this uh, no trolls will spawn behind you or anything like that because what happens to me what happened to me before I actually went through the middle of the map following all the lamps and I kind of fucked up and all the trolls literally spawned as well. So literally in this part, um, the knight's gonna get to his position thinking you're coming that way. So we're doing just prone here, literally just stay in this little corner, get as much as you like as you can. Um, it's easier to get all the way down from 10 to all the way to 0 and what you're gonna do is at this part you're gonna run completely and just go to the section. Right, and what you do is um, in this part you'll be able to do the same way, I don't know if you guys done it before. Um, just follow my steps guys, just literally follow this because I don't want to keep talking about in the whole video overall. So right when you get up here, uh, again again, take your darkness off and go to the section where the um, the bridge is, you know that little circle, that path where you, you literally touch it and then you automatically the the bridge will stand, uh, will start activating. You do not have to stand in that spot. Like in my video, I'll show you what to do. Like literally just follow my exact same steps. What you're gonna do is don't activate that lamp because you might probably need it to run back as fast as you can. So right when you get to this spot right here, um, literally just activate it, run back. You're gonna have to pass this lamp, get some um, light out of you so I'll be able to run a little bit faster because trolls will spawn and two ogres might spawn as well. So right when you get on top of this rock, if you have the Galahorn or Icebreaker fully upgraded, get your heavy ammo as fast as fast as you can, guys. And literally, um, just keep aiming to the other light because two ogres can spawn there directly. So again, if you have the Galahorn, you'll be able to rock and you'll be able to kill him. But yeah, guys, I really hope this is really simple. Uh, helped you out how to do this solo. And again, you'll be able to do this. More people, the better, of course. But I recommend at least two people. Because with th three people, I haven't really given it a shot. Because I think it's a little bit harder overall. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you guys did. And if you guys ever want to help, um, want to join me and kill uh, uh, Crota or Atheon, let me know. I would definitely invite you guys to play me. But yeah, guys, have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!